Who says that you can only care for animals that happen to fall in the same species category as you? Isn't that a bit old-fashioned and narrow-minded? There are plenty of animals out there that have been crossing over the barriers and bringing needy or vulnerable creatures into their care. Regardless of whether they might usually choose to snack on them or rather give them a hug. If a wild animal can do it, then surely we humans could learn a little more tolerance and stop being so judgmental. From a cat with an unusually prickly litter to an African lion switching sides to protect prey animals, here are 20 animals adopting other animal species. Number 20. Russian cat adopts orphaned baby hedgehogs. When a mama hedgehog was tragically killed in a lawn mowing incident, ah, uh, it sounds horrific, I know, she would leave behind a whole litter of teeny baby hoglets all helpless and vulnerable without her. The story does get a little less weepy, so bear with me. All eight of the orphaned hedgehogs were refusing milk from a saucer, a bottle, or a syringe, and were growing more and more weak by the hour. It didn't look good, but then the hoglets were introduced to a cat named Muska, a resident at Sadgorod Zoo in the Russian city of Vladivostok. And it was frankly just in the nick of time for these spiky little babies. Muska had recently nursed a litter of kittens and still had a milk supply. The hedgehogs, they were instantly drawn to her warm, milky presence and began nursing. Despite the obvious differences in their appearances, Muska was not phased by the feeding hedgehogs. She just took it in stride to take care of those lost babies. She'll only make a complaint if they prickle her. The dedicated mama cat took care of the babies, feeding them until they were big enough to eat solid food and comforting them throughout the night. Ah, oh, such lucky hedgehogs. Perhaps they have nine lives as well. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Crow Loves Feeding Her Dog and Cat an unusually friendly white-winged chuff is being so helpful that it's starting to get the tiniest bit annoying. The eager-to-please bird is an Australian member of the crow family, and although she's a wild bird, she was rescued when her now owners found her injured at the side of the road. The bird is named Cha-Cha, and nothing pleases her more than taking care of her dog and cat family. Does it sound bizarre? Well, it is. Okay, come get some more Cha-Cha. Cha Cha. Cha Cha never returned to the wild as her injury meant that her wing never fully recovered, so she can't actually fly. But she has found a new family in Sky the dog and Kitten the cat, and is so dedicated to bringing these big animals food and fussing over them that they can get a bit cross with her. She is a little bit bossy and won't accept it if her family won't do as they're told. Number 18. Geese protect pig from being bullied by other pigs. When there's an animal that is smaller or weaker than the others, it's sad to see that little creature get pushed around or left out when the others are there. And I guess that's how this flock of geese felt when they saw this poor little pig being picked on by the other pigs. Don't mess with geese, people, because these birds can be pretty aggressive. So it's good to know that they're putting that feisty side of their personality into some bodyguard services for the little pig. When this piglet was born, she was much smaller than the others in the litter and was also a different color. Those other pigs, like playground bullies, picked on their sibling, pushing him around because he was different. 
he couldn't get a look in at the feeding trough, and they chased him off if he came near. It could have been a tragic story if it wasn't for the unlikely friendship and protection he found with a gaggle of geese. These big waddling birds didn't like the way that little piggy was being treated, so they took him under their wings. Now the pig spends his time with the geese, walking with them, eating with them, even playing with them. And if those mean big pigs ever get too close, well, they get a right honking earful from the geese. Number 17. Gentle Goose Preciously Watches Over Newborn Puppies Six puppies can be a lot for any mama dog to handle, but fortunately for this new parent, she had a faithful friend standing by and ready to help. That friend? None other than a beautiful white goose. Despite geese having a reputation for being a little bit grumpy, this one is the picture of patient placidity as she sits and watches over the tiny puppies. She settles in beside them so the puppies can snuggle up next to the reassuring presence of a warm mama shape while their own canine mother takes a well-deserved rest. That is one heck of a babysitter. She doesn't even bat an eyelid when the wriggly babies clamber all over her. She takes it all in stride, keeping careful watch over her precious charges. This goose should start a babysitting business. She's got all the skills and calming influence to keep even a pile of puppies in order. There are definitely other frazzled parents out there who could do with that kind of help. Number 16. Two white tiger cubs find an unusual surrogate mum. Times of terrible trauma do bring animals together and humans in the most unexpected way. That's exactly what happened when two white tiger cubs were born during a hurricane and their home was then suddenly engulfed in water. It sounds like a terrible disaster, and in many ways it was. The newborn cubs were separated from their mother as the dramatic events going on around them would cause her great stress and she was sadly a threat to her babies. The cubs were taken into the home of keeper China York, who took care of the animals at the Institute of Greatly Endangered and Rare Species in South Carolina. The baby tigers were cared for by China, and she introduced them to Anya, the chimpanzee. The ape took an immediate liking to the cubs and has become their surrogate mother since the day of the hurricane. Remarkable cross-species relationships do seem to happen when there's a vulnerable animal in need of support and an older, stronger animal that's able to offer them care. Sometimes it really doesn't matter what shape or size these guys are. They can form a loving bond that lasts regardless. Number 15. Three orphaned kittens dumped at a shelter adopted by a dog. Puppies, kittens, what's the difference really? Small and squeaky, hungry and furry, they all need a mother. It kind of doesn't matter who she is as long as she takes care of them, right? When a trio of tiny orphan kittens were unceremoniously dumped at an animal shelter in Georgia, they were then quickly welcomed into the comfortable embrace of a mama dog named Mary. Despite the fact that Mary had just given birth to a litter of puppies, she immediately took the vulnerable little cats into her care as well. Mary adopted those lost babies and fussed over them as if they were her own. Not letting the kittens out of her sight, she rounded them up and returned them to safety of their bed whenever they strayed too far from her sight. They snuggled in with the puppies and basically became part of the litter as well. The special bond will have given the kittens all the companionship and care of being part of a family group, so it really doesn't seem to matter to any of them what particular species they happen to be. Number 14. Shih Tzu Puppy Adopted by Siamese Cat Mother when a teeny furball named Hope would be rejected by her own mother, fate stepped in to bring her a new one that very same day. Coco, the Siamese cat, had just given birth to a litter of kittens when she was introduced to a brand new baby named Hope. And then her mothering instincts went into full flow. Coco accepted little Hope without a second thought. The only thing is though, Hope is a puppy. That's right, Coco's newest baby is a Shih Tzu puppy. Born on the same day as the kittens, she's been completely adopted by her new feline family. She feeds alongside her adoptive siblings, and her foster mother takes care of her the same as all the rest. 
Who says that cats and dogs can't be friends? Sometimes they can even be family. For crying out loud, would you stop being so dogmatic? Number 13. Dog raised by a lion cub as if it were her own. In 2014, a lion cub became an internet sensation when she was born at a Sri Lankan zoo and wound up in an unusual and very cute situation. The parental instinct was not strong with the lion cub's own mother, and she sadly rejected the baby. But another new mama was close by and had more than her fair share of nurturing knowledge to go around. It took a couple of hours of waiting at a little distance for the pooch to observe the baby lion and decide to take her into her litter. The cub joined the dogs and began to nurse alongside the puppies, as if she were one of them. This continued for three weeks and gave that little lost lion cub the start that she needed in life so she could go ahead and thrive. She learned to be part of the group and picked up essential animal life skills along the way. Animals have so many prompts and cues that they give each other in their interactions. These are things that humans simply cannot teach them. So to be part of a pack with a hierarchy and peers is very valuable to any animal that would grow up this way in the wild. The lion cub played and learned alongside the puppies as if there were no differences between them. And if you don't look too closely, they're more alike than you might expect. So who says that blood is thicker than water? Number 12. Mother Lion Adopted a Leopard Cub in India Now what's all this now? Queen of the jungle bringing up the baby of her mortal enemy? It sounds too bizarre to be true, but I promise I'm not lying to you. The Gur National Park in India is home to pretty much all the world's Asiatic lions. These extraordinary big cats share a whole bunch of similarities with their African cousins, but there are some significant differences as well. One of those differences may well account for this unusual behavior. In Africa, lions live in prides with males dominating the group dynamic and aggressively controlling their population. They're not against killing cubs that are not their own and will certainly never entertain an interloper from another species within their ranks. However, the Asiatic lion lives separately. The mother takes her litter and nurtures them by herself away from the males. An Asiatic lion mother with her own cubs would be spotted on numerous occasions taking care of a leopard cub. There didn't seem to be any real difference between the lion cubs and the little leopard. The lioness watched over them all and took care of the orphan leopard as if it were one of her own. Perhaps these big cats are not so different after all. Number 11. Australian Shepherd Dog Who Takes Care of Baby Animals at the Cincinnati Zoo When new babies arrive at the Cincinnati Zoo, they need a lot of love and care, and they need to be fed and kept safe. But they also need to be taught how to play and interact with other animals. The love and nourishment can be given by humans, that much is true, but how does a person teach a baby animal how to interact with other animals? That tricky question was answered by the people at the Cincinnati Zoo when they met Blakely, an Australian shepherd dog who takes care of baby creatures of all species under his guiding paw and teaches them how to play, how to interact, and well, how to be an animal. They learn lots of behavior cues, and he essentially acts like a foster parent for animals as diverse as ocelots, wallabies, and cheetahs, giving them a safe and cozy place to adapt to living at the zoo before they're introduced to other animals of their own species. It's kind of like a halfway house for uninitiated little ones before they reach the much more hardcore business of finding their place amongst their species' pecking order. Number 10. Cow Adopts Leopard Cub It's more than unusual to see a leopard alongside a cow which still has all of its insides on its inside. After all, a cow generally ends up as a leopard's lunch, especially one that would deign to get this close. But as improbable as it seems, these two are firm friends. When a mother leopard gave birth to her cub in a nearby sugarcane field, 
The farmer trapped the mother there in order to use her hunting skills to protect his crop from pigs and rodents. This left the young leopard cub roaming free without its mother. So in stepped an unlikely surrogate, a super relaxed local cow. She was also captive herself, being chained to keep her from wandering, so the pair became a comfort to one another in their time of need. They could be seen cuddled up together, the cow licking the big cat, and the leopard purring contently. It's every bit of a Disney film in the making, and such a moving story. Number 9. Orphan Dog Cries As He's Reunited With Mother Cow Who Raised Him no oh, good grief, this is too heartbreaking. I can't even take it. This dinky dog has got all the emotions, and there won't be a dry eye in the house when you see his sad little face. Orphaned as a puppy, Rookie the dog had been taken into the care of a big brown cow. She had raised him as if he were her own baby, and the dog spent all the day with his adoptive mother. So when the farmer decided it was time to sell his mama, as you can imagine, the little guy was beyond distraught. Oh, excuse me, I have something in my eye. But for Pete's sake, why are they selling the pup's mother? He chases her down the road, crying and calling for her, and you can actually see the tears in his eyes. Seriously. The farmer sells the cow like it's some kind of horrible Victorian novel, and then the dog slips into a deep depression, refusing to eat, and spends his days pining for his lost mother. Then eventually the farmer decides that this is just no good for anyone. I imagine that listening to the mournful cries of a cute dog for days on end was enough to melt even the chilliest of hearts. He then goes and buys the cow back, and the two mismatched creatures are reunited, and the world breathes a collective sigh of relief, and then books its therapy session. Number eight, Cat Adopts Blind Dog. When a woman named Judy adopted a stray cat named Pootie Tat and introduced her to a dog named Turfle, their lives all changed for the better. That's how it can be with pets sometimes. They may be small, but they can make a massive impact. Turfle the dog is visually impaired and has suffered with cataracts that have made the little dog blind. He was finding it difficult to move around and would frequently bump into things, even struggling to take simple walks. But when Pootie Tat arrived at her new home, she immediately understood the dog's difficulty and became his friend and seeing eye cat. The clever feline supports Turfle to walk safely, taking him to play in the garden. She uses her paws to help the dog feel where to go and guides him around the house. Judy says that her pets are so attached to one another that they're now inseparable. The cat's instincts to support the disabled dog have changed both of their lives, from being an unwanted stray cat to giving her new friend a new lease on life. This cat's been a lifesaver. Isn't it amazing how animals can sense vulnerability and they even know what to do to help. Number 7. Leopard Takes Care of Baby Baboon This story's a little bit much, and I hope you have some Kleenex at the ready. This leopard's protective instincts were strong enough to overpower her own predatory predilections, and you'd have to see it to believe it. When a leopard cub known as Legadema was captured on film in a National Geographic documentary called Eye of the Leopard, the filmmakers saw some extraordinary behaviors unfold. The leopard had hunted and killed a baboon and was about to settle in for her meal when a baby baboon dropped from the fallen prey's grasp. It's super heartbreaking. In fact, it was upsetting even to the leopard defying everything that we think we know about the killer instincts of these big cats, the leopard did not attack the second baboon. Instead, she discarded her fresh kill and took hold of the baby, scampering away and up a tree. She then spent the night watching over the little orphan and trying to protect it. The baby fell out of the tree and the leopard raced down to rescue it, all to keep it safe from other prowling predators. 
She tried to look after the tiny baboon, but sadly there was no way to feed the little one, and ultimately the baby would end up dying. But the behavior of the leopard was considered so surprising and uncharacteristic that it had all of the experts baffled. Number 6. Tiny Stray Kitten Chooses Dog as Its New Mother Now, forget about fighting like cats and dogs. Perhaps that should be uniting like cats and dogs. This teeny weeny little kitten followed a friendly dog home one day, and the two have become completely inseparable. Toast, the dog, met the lost animal in the street near her home and instantly recognized that the kitten was alone and vulnerable and in need of some loving care. So the kitten came to live with her new adoptive mother, and the dog shows all the instincts of nurturing and caring for the baby even if they are a completely different species. The super cute film taken by Toast's owner shows the unlikely pair going on about their day together, the big dog helping the tiny cat to climb the stairs, rescuing her when she strays too near to the dangerous swimming pool, sharing food, and even snuggling down for a sleep. To all intents and purposes, this mismatched animal couple are just like mother and child, and isn't it just so adorable? Number 5. Mother Cat Adopts Baby Ducklings Well, duck me sideways. This extraordinary story is going to turn everything you thought you knew about cats upside down. Forget the savage, bird-murdering maniacs that you thought you knew and settle in for a tale to warm the cockles of your heart. It's gonna get a little smushy here. On a farm in Ireland, the Lally family were concerned that they discovered their new brood of ducklings had disappeared. Usually it's not good news for the ducklings, and when they spotted one of the farm cats with a duckling in her mouth, their worries seemed to be confirmed. However, as they approached Dala, the cat, they realized that she wasn't perpetrating a massacre as they had suspected. She was gently moving the little bird. The rest of the ducklings were snuggled up beside her, and then they realized that Dala had also given birth to three kittens. The ducklings had joined the family, and they were all rapidly forming a cross-species bond. The weirdest part, though? These little ducklings had taken to copying their feline siblings and were nursing on the mother's milk as well. That is some ducking unusual behavior. Number 4. Baboon Adopts and Grooms Lion Cub what could possibly be next in the weird and wonderful world of animal species switcheroos? Well, it seems that it could be just about anything after some of the things we've seen. But how about a big cat making a daddy of a primate? Well, why the heck not? In South America's Kruger National Park, an adult male baboon got a hold of a little lion cub and took it all the way up a tree to tidy it up a bit. Grooming and preening the little animal, the baboon treated it as if if it were one of his own children, which is strange, right? Even the safari operator had never seen anything like it in all of his 20 years working there. So yes, it was a weird one. This is no doubt an extremely unusual pairing. Actually in the wild, an unattended lion cub would likely be killed by a male baboon. It's basically a common sense kind of scenario. The baboon recognizes that the baby lion's most probably going to grow into a big lion, and that big lion will prey on the baboon and his family. It's really a future-proofing technique. So what kicked in this time and encouraged the baboon to take care of its future enemy is anybody's guess. Perhaps that lion will remember his foster daddy and spare him one day. Number 3. Chicken Taking Care of Three Orphaned Kittens well, I think we're ready for anything at this point, aren't we? Here we go with a chicken and her cat babies, because that's just how the animal kingdom rolls. It's completely natural, right? It's only us stuffy old humans who seem to be incapable of dealing with this business of taking care of the lost and vulnerable. When a poor mother cat drowned in a lake on a farm in Iraq, her kittens were thought to be lost as well, except that they'd found their way to the warm and welcoming nest 
of an unexpected surrogate mother. This chicken had taken the three babies under her wing, well, under her butt, actually, and was bringing them up as if they were regular little chicks. The farmer was most surprised to spot what looked like the brooding chicken sitting on her eggs, only to then discover that she was actually keeping warm a litter of kittens. So in this chapter of Animal Adoption Stories, the plot chickens. Number two. Lioness Adopts Baby Antelope Just when you thought there was nowhere left to go, this tale took yet another turn into the bizarre territory of predator protecting prey. Perhaps we need to stop perpetuating the stereotypes and accept the fact that apex predators have feelings as well, times anyways. Then again, it's tricky to figure out exactly when they'll have an uncharacteristic moment of not doing murderous stuff, so it's probably best to start relying on the inherent protective spirit of wild animals. This completely bizarre incident took place at the Samburu National Park in Kenya, where park rangers spotted a sight that none of them had ever witnessed in their collective years on this planet. A lioness adopted a newborn antelope. And no, she wasn't just preparing her dinner either. The lioness took the vulnerable infant and began to care for it. They sat in the shade as she groomed the little creature and warned other predators away as if she were guarding her own cub. The story gets even stranger though. The lioness then went on to adopt another antelope calf, but she allowed the little animal's mother to come and feed it before chasing her off. Apparently this continued for a full two weeks before the inevitable tragedy struck and a regular lion came and ate the antelope while the lioness was sleeping. That just goes to show you what a cutthroat business life in the savanna really is after all. Number 1. Friendly Duck Adopts Adorable Puppy Well, isn't this just the most gosh darn cutest thing you've ever seen in your life? A little puppy and its big duck friends seem to get on like a house on fire. It's hard to say whether these cute animals are pals or if they're trying to figure out if they're family or what. The little puppy's likely seeking a hug from a mama figure, and the duck just seems to fit that role so perfectly, even seeming to tolerate the puppy's playful nips at her feet. Honestly though, whose heart wouldn't just melt at the sight of a teeny fluffy pup having a ride on the back of a big feather duck, even if it does look the tiniest bit like it might be hanging on for dear life. Not accusing anyone of anything, but a more cynical person might think that it looks ever so slightly staged. Not me though, I know that puppies absolutely definitely ride around on ducks like that, right? It's quite natural, nothing to see here, but ugh, just look at these guys. What a funny old world it is out there. Perhaps we humans can learn a little from these animals that have taken those in need into their care despite their obvious differences. Were you surprised by any of these unusual animal adoptions? Let us know all about it in the comments below. Also be sure to check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now, and I'll see you next time.